How hard was it to sit home and wait for this to play out? Uh, it was extremely hard. Uh, it's not fun, you know, obviously watching on TV, uh, seeing your teammates, and uh, it was definitely hard, you know, staying off social media when, you know, you got, you know, tweets happening every day and um, seeing your teammates, you know, compete out there and going through the work they had to go yeah. through. And um, it just made you want to, you know, get better as a hockey player and, you know, couldn't really sit still uh, all day, you know, because your mind was racing, your heart rate was up, and it was just, um, but uh, I'm just happy to be back. Yeah. Uh, you worked hard, just from talking to Darren, you did as much as you could. How far behind do you think you are just from having this camp? Um, maybe a little bit. I mean, I saw what these guys went through, um, yeah. you know, a really tough camp like that, but um, it just made me want to get better too. Um, seeing, you know, my teammates get better out there every day and I just want to compete and, um, you know, I started doing two-a-days because um, I couldn't really, you know, just relax. Yeah. Um, it was It was hard. Josh, did you pull the ideas for your workouts from what you knew you went through last year? Or how did you try and stay up to speed with what they were doing here? Um, I just uh, trained with my trainer, um, Gary Roberts. I extended that, and then I just started going on the ice, you know, two a days with Mississauga. Um, just started doing skill work in the morning, and then um, started doing full team practices in the afternoon. You are so close with a bunch of these guys. Yeah. How great is it to be back with them? And welcoming you back, I'm sure you were excited. It's unbelievable. I mean, it was just so tough, you know, just hearing you know from the guys every single day. Um, you know, more than half too. It was just, uh, it was so difficult, and uh, you know, just seeing them today coming through the rink, it was just, it was unbelievable. Tough question, but any regrets as to how this played out? Did you do it differently if you had to do over? I mean, you know, it's it's obviously easy to say yes. You know, I, I could regret it, but at the same time, um, you know, it's definitely a business on each side. Um, you know, it's a lifestyle, and um, I had to go through it. Um, definitely hard, but you know, that's water under the bridge now, and you know, I'm ready to compete here. Yeah, you feel like it is water under the bridge, like you can move on, the team's moved on. Though. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's the whole side of it. Um, I'm just happy to be back and, you know, play the game I love. Yeah. It's only like 35 minutes or so today, but how did it feel to be on the ice today? I feel good. I feel comfortable, um, you know, just being here with the team. Um, I just want to, you know, keep working hard out there and um, get a good pace, and you know, I did that today. Do you have a, a date in mind you'd like to be game ready? I don't know. That's up to the coach. Tort said he talked to you a little bit yesterday when you were driving. How was that conversation for you? It was good. It was normal. Uh, he just called me to see how I was doing, you know, where where I'm at and how long I'm going to be until I'm in Columbus. And, uh, I told him I'd be here last night.